Hello everyone. So today we'll discuss with your uh, program number two of your part A, NS2. And the question is as follows. Implement transmission of your ping message or trace route over a network topology consisting of six nodes and find the number of packets dropped due to congestion. So here, before proceeding, so you need to know what you mean by ping. So ping is a thing, but packet internet dropper. Why it is used? It is used to check the internet connectivity, whether your host is connected to your internet or not. How do you do that? Just know your IP address of your system. Just by using a ping command, you give the IP address. So what does it do? If it is connected, it's going to query, it's going to send a message, or it is going to send a packet to your server, and server is going to send a reply back. Okay, and how much time it has been calculated. So here they said that uh, ping tool is used to test whether a particular host is reachable across your IP network or not. What does it do? It is going to it is going to specify or measure the time it takes for a packet to be sent from the particular system to your server, server back to your system. And what does it calculate? The round trip time of your packet. Okay, let me show it practically how exactly it works. You can just give IP. Uh, command and with your or option, it, it just shows the IP address of your system, something like 170.16.0.10. I'll just give ping 170.16.0.10. So if it is connected, you get a pop-up message, it means 64 bytes from, from which node, from this node is going to ask for your server and server is replying back with a message ICMP with sequence number one, first message, time to leave. And it's saying, see, round trip time. This is your round trip time. So frequently, multiple packets are transmitting from this node to your server, server back to your, uh, what you can say is your host. So don't you calculate the round trip time. So this is what you need to check in your system. Hope you are clear with this uh, ping. What does it do? It checks the internet connectivity. It checks the internet connectivity. And the topology, whatever it is, it is as follows. So six nodes I'm creating here. OK. And uh, this one, I'll show it uh, parallel program. So I've already typed the program. The program name is 2.tcl. OK, uh, I'll just show it uh, parallel how exactly it works with your topology. Uh, just a second. So the, already in my previous lectures, uh, I've uh, specified uh, the syntax of your NS2 program and everything. So first step of your program, so create a simulator class with an operator called as new. And for this simulator class, you create an object called as NS by using an object called as set command. And to see your results, there are two different ways. One is your NAM and one more thing is your trace. Open both in your write mode uh, because once you run your simulation, the result has to be copied to these files. So open as a function and create an object for this uh, NAMP file that is NF and whatever you get in your uh, topology that should be copied to this file right that's when dollar ns NAMP trace all is a keyword and trace all the particular values in all the particular fields whatever it is there and copy to 2.nam file for 2.nam what is the object it is NF so dollar NAMP. the same way you do it for trace file and you all know that how to create your nodes in your simulator class, you need to create the node by using your node command. For your simulator class, object is what ns. So dollar ns means go to that node. Dollar specifies the content. So dollar ns, you create the node. And you can specify uh, the value for those particular uh, nodes, whatever it is that by using your set command. Enclose this in your rectangular brackets and not space you give. So same way I created how many nodes here? Six nodes I created. That is n0 to n5, n0, n1, n2, n3, n4, and n5. And the link is as follows. Like I see here, uh, whenever you establish the link, seven parameters is passed. Nodes is created in your simulator class. Go to your simulator class, that is your dollar ns. Next is the type of link, that is duplex iPhone hyphen link, means full duplex. Between which node? n0 to n4. n0 to n4, dollar n0, dollar n4. Next is bandwidth as specified. Uh, convention is MB. Okay, next is your time delay, milliseconds. And the type of queue is what drop type in the same way next to link is what n1 to n4 next is n2 to n4 next n3 to n4 and next n4 to n5 and here what they said is find the number of packets dropped due to congestion when congestion occurs whenever the data has been transmitted from multiple sources to multiple destinations that is your only one connecting device 
you are sending the data from n naught for this n naught source one destination is what n five for this source n two the destination is which one yeah n three you can take anything but i am i have taken these two things okay these two source node this to your destination i am sending from n naught to n five n two to n three and what the type of packet you need to create is ping so here the protocol what you need to create is ping so for that uh, in your uh, ns2 it is called as agents right in your ns2 it is called as agents so for that what happens is i'll just you see new is operator agent slash ping ping is an agent class ping is an agent class p capture and that i can specify an object for this ping uh, class that is p not i've said and that p not whatever it is that ping properties has to be attached to what each nodes so for this p not I'm attaching to which one are n not node. That's why so dollar n is go to your simulator class. Attach agent is a keyword for your n not. I'm attaching which one your ping protocol means the properties of your ping will be attached to which one your n not node. As your p not is your source node, I can specify the packet size by using your uh, protocol uh, object. Protocol object for ping pro object is what p not. So dollar p not set command packet size. Underscore space you have to give fifty thousand. Same way interval time I'll specify. I specify in your previous class how exactly it can be done. Okay. Same way what I'll do. I'll create the same ping message, uh, ping agent, and I'll attach to which one here n one node. Okay. Same way I'll create to which one here n two node, and n two node also I'll attach, and n two is your source. I'll specify packet size and your interval time. The same way you attach for n three, and attach for which one here n five. Okay, N four is not needed by why because it is a connecting device, and also you can specify the queue limit uh, between the nodes. Okay, dollar N S the queue limit is a keyword between N naught to N four. Okay, the next source node is N two to N four and N four to N five because this is all you are working. So I'll just specify the queue limit and the value for this thing. So that's it. And here the next thing, these three lines are very important to your, to your program. It's going to calculate the round trip time, right? So for that I'm using A procedure, instant proc means here are two nodes is going to send the data simultaneously. Which node? So that's why instant proc, instant procedure. I'll uh, specify keyword and the procedure name is receive and what I'm receiving. So the argument what I'm receiving is from RTT. RTT stands for round trip time. From which node? That's it. Okay. And the opening bracket should be in the same line. So this is your procedure. So that is your instant proc is your keyword. Receive is your procedure name, and this is your parameter for your ping class in your ping class and main class is which one your agent. So dollar self instant variable node underscore. So this is going to act as this pointer. Node underscore is a variable. Which node it is actually uh, taking the data, whether it is your n not node or your n two node. That's your variable. So dollar self instant variable is your this pointer. Which node it is referring to? Which node it is referring to? And you're just printing the message by using a put statement. Note, dollar note ID means the note number, whether it's your n note or n two. Received answer from dollar from in your trace file. Dollar uh, from uh, field is z that indicates from note. So dollar n note is receiving from which one here n five, and dollar two is receiving data from which one here n three. That's what it prints. Dollar zero. Okay. Received answer. This is your two note. This is your from note. Received answer from which one here? N final with round trip time of RTT is a variable. So R dollar RTT millisecond. I'm printing that one. Hope you are clear with this. Okay. So these are three lines which are main. You need to connect right source and destination. See, connect P not and P five. Ready? Connect P not and P five and P two and P three. Hope you are clear with this. So next is your finish procedure. Same way. Proc keyword, procedure name, no parameter. The opening bracket should be the same line. And what are all the variables you are taken uh, for your simulator class, NAND class, and your uh, trace file? You make it as global, so it can be used anywhere in your program. Next, first trace. What does it do? Once you run your simulation, the results will be dumped to your uh, trace file and your NAND file. After that, what is the use of that file? Close that one by using the object of those files. And if you want to see the animation, execute command NAND. Actually, what you are saying is network animation. The file name of that. Execute in your background. Exit zero, zero means successfully exit from your program. So that is the end of your procedure. And also, you know how to specify the timings and all, uh, when to send the packet and all. So here, uh, dollar ns at is a keyword to specify uh, or to execute the particular.
program or to execute the times, whatever it is, at user specific time, like at keyword, at 0 0.1, P0 will send the data. As as due to congestion means what? Multiple, you need to send uh, the data from multiple sources. So P0 is also sending, P2 is also sending. So send command use, I'm using. Send means send the data at that particular time. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, you send the packet from P0. And same way, so 0 0.1, send the packet from P2. So 0 0.2, 0 0.3, some simultaneous time I'll specify. That's it. Okay. And also you can specify uh, your finished procedure and how to run your simulation. Run, that's it. Hope you're clear with this. So save this program and exit. And I'll run my simulation. Okay. How do you run your simulation? NS2.TCL. Okay. See here. I just get a pop up message say that uh, no two received answer from three with round trip time of five seconds. See? Note zero received answer from five with round trip time of something thousand five not five point eight seconds. That's it. So here is what you need to check the result. This is your topology animation. So this is your play button. Play, just play, just press uh, play button. I'll just see zero is transmitting to five. And uh, one more note. One uh, or one, uh, two is transmitting to your three node. So as per the topology, which one here? So yeah, two is transmitting to three. So here are some see fluctuation it will come. So it is transmitting and some drop is occurring so that you need to calculate. And as shown that your trace file itself will be very huge. The trace file, whatever it, it is, itself will be very huge. Okay, you can just check it out, get it. Uh, trace file name is 2.tr. So this is your trace file. So it is very huge and it is very difficult to calculate. That's why what I'm doing is I'm writing awk script. You know what do you mean by awk? So it's an uh, pattern matching and uh, extracting tool. So what does it do is uh, in order to filter your output, output of your trace file, I'm writing, uh, writing your awk script. What does it do? It search for a pattern and extract the pattern, whatever given, and only print the results, whatever you have found, the pattern. So for that, awk script is used. So I'll just use uh, uh, editor and 2.awk. Already I've typed the program. So this is the thing. It is having three sections. That's your begin section, rule section, enclosed within your pair of parentheses. Next is your end section. So begin with uppercase. The opening braces should be in the same length. Your begin section is with your variable declaration, header files and all. So drop, I've taken variable to identify how many drops is initialized to zero. And in your rule section, I'm just using your if loop. $1 is your positional parameter. So as you know, in your trace file, it's totally how many fields are there? 12 fields are there. First field is what event type. So there are four types. Whether it can be R, it can be minus, it can be plus, or it can be drop. D. So if it is D, means it is drop. So that's why the first column in your trace file, dollar one equal to equal to D means the drop. Drop will be incremented. And at the end section, I'm printing total number of percentages. So percentages I've just given dollar five. So in your trace file, the fifth field indicates what. The packet type. What is the packet type? Your ping packet. So it's going to print total number of ping packets dropped due to congestion is percentage D means drop will be printed. That's it. So I've shown okay how to do that. Save and exit. Okay, how to run your awk script here? AWK minus F option is used. Means the output of your awk script that is two dot AWK is passed to which one here? To your trace file. So minus F option is used for what? The output of one file is passed the input to the other file. See, total number of packets dropped due to congestion is what? Seven, total number of ping packets. You are clear with this? So you can just uh, increase uh, the things in your top. You can change the parameters. So what all parameter I can change is uh, just increase uh, more number of packets to be transmitted. So I'll just copy this and uh, place. So something like I'll just keep 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. The same way simultaneously for this also. I'll copy this. So I'll change some few parameters. One, two, one, three, one point four, and also you can change other parameter values like. Uh, Mm, you can increase your packet size and your interval time 
and also you can increase your bandwidth of your source link i'll just keep 5000 in not to info is one source link and n2 to n4 is one more source link i'll increase okay and i'll decrease the bandwidth i'll give 0 0.3 mb so just save control save and quit and run your simulation ns2 dot tcl you can check it out so you'll get this pop-up message and along with that you can use your play button the drop is occurring so i've uh, increased the source bandwidth and decreased the destination bandwidth so the number of package drop will be more compared to your previous thing so previously i got seven right so now we'll check what would be my draw so i'll just straight away run my aux script okay so you can check the total number of packet drop due to congestion is 12. Previously, I got only seven, right? So like this. So this is your program. Hope you understood, guys. So here I'll stop. Okay. Uh, thank you, guys. Thanks for your patience.